Hey everyone, Spencer here. So last month, which was May 2021, OwnTheYard.com made $5,818 in earnings. And uh, this month it's actually on track to do more than that. And so really I just wanted to sit down here today and explain exactly how it's earning its money and share the strategies behind that where it's getting its traffic and everything. And so I'm gonna dive into Google Analytics, I'm gonna dive into the content published, uh, and of course the earnings and, and exactly where that's coming from. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first let's take a look at earnings. Uh, the site actually makes money in two different ways. Uh, Ezoic display ads and then Amazon Associates earnings. And so if I jump into my Ezoic uh, dashboard here for ownTheYard.com. Um, you can see how much it's making, right? And this is even showing uh, June. So today is actually uh, June 16th. Um, but if I go back here and take a look at uh, the, if I go monthly, all right. So if we, uh, after clicking monthly, if we scroll down here and look at May, uh, we can see that the total earnings was $3,351.45, right? That's how much the site made in display ad revenue. And then if we come over here to Amazon Associates, I've already got May uh, selected in the proper um, tracking IDs. Uh, you can see that it made $2,467.21 for a total of $5,818.66, right? So that's where that's coming, almost $6,000 uh, last month. And um, so let's let's look at Ezoic. Uh, Again, this is the display ad revenue. So if you come over to my site, you know, my site has um, ads on the site, which of course it's not going to be showing up because I'm logged in. But if you go over to ownTheYard.com, you'll see that that is pulling up. Um, one thing that I do kind of like about Ezoic is that you can see uh, the in-depth analytics. All right, so if I come over to Big Data Analytics and... Uh, click content, right? I can see which pages are earning the most display ad revenue, which I think is kind of interesting here. Okay, and uh, so as I pull this up, it shows that um, right now, I believe it's sorted by page views. I actually wanna sort it by uh, earnings if I can. Looks like I need to add a column here. Okay, so now I've got the revenue column over here. And if I sort by the revenue, I can see which page actually earned me the most money. And that one was walkway ideas. Um, there you go, it made me $176, which is interesting because the best water garden ideas, which actually got more page views, earned almost $50, over $50 less, $122, right? And so um, there, there's lots of data here. I just thought it would be interesting to show you some of uh, my top pages and uh, then certainly some of my lowest pages there that made nothing, right? Um, and then if I go over to Amazon Associates, uh, we can see which products I'm actually making money from. Right, if I just click on one of these tracking IDs, just to give you an idea, uh, you can see that I've got a Lego Dots Magic Forest bracelet. I don't even know. Um, shipped nine of those. Uh, camping chair, camping chairs, right? Uh, that's what actually uh, shipped the most items. Uh, what actually made me the most money Interestingly, um, really not nothing big. Um, you know, I made 73 bucks on, on one of these, but it's a lot of individual items. 
Now, I thought it might actually be interesting to also see what the earnings are like uh, for this month as well. So in Amazon, I've made a total of $659.95. And if we add that to my Ezoic, you can see that this month so far, I've made $2,069.91, right? For a total of uh, $3,729.86. Um, and it is, uh, I'm recording this on the 16th, but Amazon's a day late. So if I divide that by 15 days, uh, and then the, which is, anyways, it's that number times 30 days in the month. Uh, it says that I'm on pace for $7,459, right? So I should make more uh, in the month of June than I did uh, last month. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at Google Analytics. Where's the traffic coming from? What pages are getting traffic, et cetera? Um, I just thought it might be interesting to show you what is actually working and getting traffic, right? So the site's getting, um, if I go to, let's just, I like to look at sessions, right? It's getting anywhere from, you know, about 5,000 to six, eh, four, f anyways, 4,500 to 6,200 sessions a day, something like that, um, about a hundred and, well, it's 169,000, almost 170,000 uh, page views uh, in the last 30 days, right? So if we just look at the um, site content, you can see what my top pages are, right? Um, best post hole digger, apparently. Uh, koi pond ideas, walkway ideas, best water garden ideas, tree stump ideas, how to get rid of mushrooms. Um, these are some of my uh, top pages. And what's the breakdown of where that traffic's coming from? If I take a look at the overview, you can see that about 62% is coming from organic search. That's Google. 23% uh, is coming from social sources, uh, primarily Pinterest, and 14% is uh, direct. And so if I click on the social, uh, just so you can see, the bulk of that, you know, 99% is uh, from Pinterest. All right. All right, now let's, let's take a look at the site itself. Uh, so uh, this is what the site looks like. And if I look at the back end, you can start to see, um, I know a lot of people are always curious how many posts are published on the site and so, um, right now, there are 625 posts published. I've got 16 drafts, uh, and some of the more recent um, articles that have been published, like best pressurized water guns, best putting mats, um, and on down the line. And if you want to see the plugins that I have installed, um, I'll show this back end. I've got AAWP that I use a lot, Amalinks Pro, um, and the Amazon Link Engine, which is Genius Links, all for managing Amazon Associates links, right? Uh, and then, of course, uh, I've got Link Whisper, which I use to manage my internal links. Uh, if you're not aware, I'm the creator of that plugin. And so uh, if we look at Link Whisper, I really do... Uh, use this a lot. My writers come in here and it's part of the process that they add an internal link to one of my other articles every time they write an article. And if I look at my links report, I can quickly come in here and see, you know, for example, this best waterproof outdoor string lights article has 11 outbound internal links that are pointing to other articles on my site. And it actually has four internal links pointing to uh, this particular article, right? Uh, and so I can quickly see, are my writers actually adding um, inbound internal links, which is definitely what I, what I wanna see. I wanna see at least one 
inbound internal link. So I've got a couple of these that probably could use an internal link. And if I want to do that, I just click Add. Link Whisper will go out that, uh, go out there, find uh, link suggestions for me, and it makes it very easy for me to just click and click Add if I like those. I'm not going to go through that process uh, now on this video, uh, but. I just thought it would be interesting. You can see that coming up, I've got lots of squirrel articles being published here. Where do squirrels sleep? What do squirrels eat? And then I've got some deer articles. What do uh, deer eat, etc. So those are coming up uh, soon to be published on ontheyard.com. Now, just as a reminder, uh, I actually don't do any of the writing or editing uh, or really much of any of the work anymore on this site. It's all outsourced. Um, I have an editor that gets all of the content from the content writers, and the editor then formats them, adds images, adds the Amazon affiliate links, and makes sure they're following my process, which I have a spreadsheet that they follow with my entire uh, process, and uh, they hit publish. I don't even review it before it's published. and so. The amount of time I spend on this site is almost zero. Um, I get an, a weekly email from my editor and I basically say, sounds good. Um, if it doesn't sound good, I say, hey, let's tweak this process a little bit and change it. So maybe, you know, some months I do spend a couple of hours looking for new keywords, but that, at this point, that's basically all, all the work that I do. Um, early on building the site, I did put a lot of time and energy into it, but the site's, you know, over two years old and uh, it's now outsourced uh, and managed. And I'll go into how much I'm spending here in just a second. Uh, the other thing that maybe you might find interesting is Ahrefs. Let's look at the link building. Um, I haven't done a ton of link building, but certainly there are links. And um, so if we just look at the overview, you can see that the organic search traffic, it had this massive spike last year, which I'd call the COVID spike. Um, even though my site is now ranking for more keywords uh, than it did, you know, back then, there was just this massive spike. So many more people were home searching for outdoor stuff and buying outdoor stuff. It was just a very unique time. Uh, so if then if I look at uh, backlinks, um, you can just see where some of the uh, links are coming from. You know, I have linked to it from Niche Pursuits, um, but uh, a lot of these others, right, are just um, sort of sort of natural links that have come in. Um, anyways, this is. Uh, nature.org that's cool I didn't even know about that one um, you know I've got some wiki how um, anyways beekeeping club uh, that's cool um, so I share a lot on on Pinterest and I do believe a lot of the links actually have come from people then using those pins or those images from Pinterest, they put them on their own blog and then they um, then they link to me. Uh, a lot of times they use the images and don't link to me, uh, but other times they do, right? Uh, and so the site does have um, you know lots of links, and it's getting new links uh, every day. Um, now let's look at the top pages here. Okay, so uh, top pages, you know, you can see that um, according to Ahrefs, my pages bringing in the most traffic, how to level your backyard, koi pond ideas. Um, that's, that's not accurate, right? You know, if we compare this little side note, don't always trust everything that you see in Ahrefs, right? It does a decent job. It does the best that it can. Uh, but, you know, so... Um, koi pond ideas, walkway ideas, those are really my, um, so I don't know where the walkway ideas is. Okay, it's down here, um, right? So everything's not in the exact order, right? Um, you know, dance, how to make a dance floor, it says, is 
one of my top pages. Um, it's it's not even one of my top 10 pages really in analytics, right? So take take things that Ahrefs says with a grain of salt, salt, but it's an amazing tool. Now let's take a look at what some of my future plans are for OnTheYard.com. All right, I've already got lots of content and I've taken a break for a few months of really publishing a lot of new content. I'm going to go ahead and double down and start doing about 20 articles a month. That's the plan. Uh, I'm going to continue doing about five pins a day. I have somebody doing Pinterest for me. And then updating about one or two old pieces of content using Market Muse or Surfer SEO uh, per week. So that's really just the plan going forward. I don't have any big link building plans or anything like that. Just continue publishing new content on low competition keywords, keep doing Pinterest, and updating some old content. And again, this is going to be uh, all outsourced, right? Um, I, I'm i not doing most of the work here. Um, the site is managed by my editor and I have writers and people doing everything for me. Um, how much do I pay for this editor uh, that is managing the site for me? Um, I'm actually going to show um, here in Upwork is where I have them, uh, hired them from. Um, I've spent $1,400, or er, sorry, $18,000 uh, total that's over about two years and a lot of that was up front um, the last 30 days I've spent $245 so usually now on average I pay her you know depending on how much she gets done that month between 200 and 500 dollars a month and then to publish 20 new articles a month right I spend anywhere from depending on the length 50 to a hundred dollars uh, per article, so that's anywhere from a thousand to two thousand um, dollars per article. So maybe I'm spending fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars on average. So the site is profiting uh, well, and uh, it's pretty hands off for me. So uh, overall, that's ownthyyard.com. Um, I just wanted to jump in, share how the site has made about $5,800 last month and that it's on track to do even more than that. Um, most of that traffic's coming from Google and you can go check out the site to see exactly how it's laid out. But uh, hopefully you found what I've explained helpful and overall just an update on the site and how it's don't, uh, doing. Uh, thanks again for watching.